Hey, I'm Nick Athlon Gamer, and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020. This is Women's Tour, it's episode number 5. In a little bit of a difficult spot trying to go for this objective today. Our objective is to get a top 10. Just a little classic here. It's 180 kilometers. Length is always a bit of a problem for my team with our low resistance, our low stamina, our low flat ratings. That combination does not bode well to scenarios like this one. Primarily 13 riders in the break, only 94 in the peloton. The chase, when the chase begins, is probably going to be pretty damaging to my team. Three riders on negative race day conditions. Fortunately, it's the weaker riders. Three riders on better race day conditions. Fortunately, the better riders. It's going to give me a chance to squeeze that top 10 out. Uh, Moke, our sprinter, 63 today, 61 resistance, 64 flat. Maybe, just maybe, we can uh, squeeze into that top 10. We'll, we'll give it a shot here. We have 80 kilometers to go, so we'll be getting water one more time in the not-too-distant future. Luckily, it is quite flat. There's a little bit of undulation out there, but certainly nothing uh, that's going to cause us too many problems. But you can already see Larson, O'Neill do it starting to feel fatigued at 70k to go i mean have we even really properly picked up the pace we've cut the gap down to a minute and a half but that's uh it's not exactly you know setting the the world on fire with the kind of pace we're going right now gap still a minute and a half we haven't pulled it back at all in the last 20k and O'Neill DeWitt and Larson are looking like they're not going to be around much longer gap is down to a minute the, the sooner we catch it the better because we'll have every chance to then maybe lift the pace a little bit it looks like I might be down to just three riders by the time we even get anywhere near the finish line Larson is nearly done now we, we need to gel up uh, O'Neill is nearly done here. Peloton is splitting 64 riders, so it is not just my riders that are a little tired here. DeWitt also coming up near the end. An Still a half a minute to that front group, and the other three are starting to struggle with the uh, tempo being set. 76, they're not able to keep up, so it's not just a stamina resistance issue. downright pace issue flat rating starting to kick in larson is the one who is faded the most uh we're seeing a split with a front peloton luckily that just came back together there we go okay we're down two riders left off the front you can see we've sat up a little bit pace is lifted this is good this is what i needed 20k to go you can see larson coming back into position now uh, we're gonna need to pick up tempo though. Definitely tell there's gonna be something. Top 10 is what we need. 18k to go. Larson's done, just providing a little protection. In fact, all three, all three of them are done. So I, I really only have three riders to go to the end. So we're gonna have to wait till pretty late to try to uh, get a little run, get a little advantage. We've got one rider left off the front. 25 seconds gap 15k to go getting awfully close here i'd like to line these three up but it's gonna have to wait moke is actually getting pretty tired and not actually getting protected so i'm gonna take schmid and put you on protection and klaus for now go ahead and follow and yeah, those three are just fading. Ooh, we're seeing a big attack here. 12k to go. Just please don't get away, because I do not have the strength to do anything about it. Alright, it was immediately countered, but we see the next attack. Oh, thank you for sitting up a little. Thank you. See Larson trying to recover slightly. 10k to go. Here we go again. Two riders trying to get off the front. Again, 
This is where it really pays off to uh, be near the front. Alright, the other three all got dropped. And all of a sudden there's only 30 riders at the front. I like my chances of a top 10 so much better in this scenario. Let's go ahead and uh, line this up. So Schmid, you need to gel up now. Schmidt in a decent position. Klaus, Smoker there. This will bring us out front, but I don't want that peloton to really get back in control here. 6k, so we can gel up. Alright, I'm in the optimum position as we approach the finish. 4k to go. As long as Schmid's not hurting Klaus, we're doing fine. 3k to go. Start speeding up a little bit. 2k to go. Okay, full speed for Schmid. Alright, 1.6, and I'm in a strong spot as we come around the corner here. Klaus, see your sprint. Give me that lead out. Okay, and Moke. 800 meters. This is going to be close on that top 10. Klaus has got the better shot here, but Klaus is fading. Moak is coming on. Is this a top 10? It's certainly not a top 5. This is going to be close on the top 10 part. Klaus gets 10th. Moak gets 11th. Again, we have just, just enough in us to squeeze our way through that. Moak had a little left. Moak could have gone slightly sooner and was definitely coming on a little faster than Klaus, but Klaus, through the lead out, was able to get ahead and then kind of faded when the red bar was gone. The lead out was good timing. Moak just could have gone 100 meters sooner, I think. But yeah, oof, that was close. It's enough. Our goal for 10% is looking more like we can achieve a, a little bit better. But there's hard objectives coming up and we're going to fail a lot of them. Done relatively well so far. Four of the six objectives we've succeeded at. But they were all top 10s. And we just squeezed inside those top 10s. Now... We're looking at six of the eight upcoming objectives, which takes us through the end of the signing period, are stage wins. I'm not winning anything with this team, which means we're going to fail six of eight. We only have a chance to get a top ten in two. Ringer Ike. Easier said than done as it's punchy. And the Cascade Cycling Classic, which is a badass race in my home area. And it's way too punchy. I haven't seen the updated stages yet as it's been reworked. But I am looking forward to that. But we have no chance of getting a top 10 there. So realistically, I'm only going to achieve one of the following eight objectives. So our streak is, is coming to an end and we might not even get that one. So we might be done collecting successful objectives the re remainder of the season. So the results, yeah, that's gonna fade. Might not go down to zero. Registered writers is already a zero. Squad, that's not gonna change. I don't think I'm gonna be able to gain any popularity with any of these riders between now and the end of the season. So kind of in a bad way from here on out. But have we done enough to clinch 10% at this point? Because like I said, this is probably all we're going to do. We might get one result the rest of the way. Looks good so far, but it's going to drop and drop and drop and drop. Just got to stay above 10. All right, so I'm at the Women's Tour 
de Grande. And our objective for this is to win a stage. Uh, so much easier said than done. Under the circumstances, uh, a win. And the, it, the game doesn't settle for anything less than a win, by the way. Uh, a win is going to be a, a really tough ask. So, uh, first off, and actually, no, let's not go auto. Why don't we stay put? It's at about a 78, and I don't know who can kind of climb. Moke? Klaus? Okay, they're the better sprinters anyway. All right, so I think realistically, my only shot at a win over this three-stage race is going to be from the breakaway. I don't think we have any chance of winning within the pack. As weak as we are, I should have no problem getting multiple riders into the break, but having my two riders that were in the break being reeled back in right away Break is away. Not, uh, a very favorable thing. Can we actually work together and open a gap? You think? Okay, the two are still working. There you go. Okay, now they're 38 seconds away, pulling away. It's looking a little better now. Backing off slightly. 37 seconds away. Oh, because three more riders are trying to come off the front. That's not helpful. If we can properly get these two into the break for the day, these are the two stronger riders on the day. As weak as we are, I have no problem sending anyone into the break and thinking that the pack is going to have an issue with that because we are so weak. And then with two riders... If we get far enough away, sacrifice one, work for the other, and maybe, just maybe, if the brake stays away, that one rider who has been protected can uh, have a shot at the stage. That's the plan. The odds are stacked against us, but that's the plan. So far, we only have a minute's gap, and you can see these two are already the pack is almost out of energy. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. So we need this to succeed quick, otherwise we're in trouble. 1K to the summit. Not interested. The Entente in the escape group is far Those two are. There are a couple of riders who want Hopefully they'll back off here shortly. Okay, now it's six of us. The gap's down to 40 seconds. Sure, got two points. Okay, we're going to catch back up to them. Good. Okay, it's looking a little better. going to ease off a little bit. We're only 30 seconds ahead of the peloton. The peloton's not sitting up. So three riders are attacking, and I don't have any energy to counter. Okay, it's back out to 55 seconds. It's going There's up. More than a but can them. we hang on long enough? Can we hang on long enough? Okay, we're going to go maintain position. It's a minute 25. Come on now. Don't get dropped. Don't get dropped. There's three of us getting dropped here. Gaps a minute 49, at least, to the front group. If the pack sits up finally, we can recover and get back up there. Okay. At least there's a third rider with us. We are pulling away from the peloton. We are closing in slightly on the front group. We'll get over the top of this soon. Maybe, just maybe, we can get back up there. Yeah, we're two and a half away. This just shows how weak we are, though. <laughs> if we didn't have this third rider with us, I don't think we'd be able to catch back up. At this point, we still haven't. We're in no man's land.
Our advantage is 247. We're still... We've pulled away from the peloton, which is nice, but... Those four riders are so much stronger than us that they've left the three of us in the dust. This is a, a low continental level race, so it doesn't surprise me that we've got this rider with us who is... Yeah, similar. Similar to my two, but definitely... Definitely stronger. I mean, I'd, I'd place them at about a 65 overall. Better than any rider on my team. Uh, we are looking a little bit better now. Can we ride a little harder? I mean, we're 345 away. And we're just 20 seconds. 14 seconds. Oh my goodness, we made it. We made it. We are in the break. Can we actually recover though? Shear's looking a little better at this point than Top Perez. Okay, yeah, sit up. They're both starting to recover. We're 420 ahead and it's seven riders. I mean, that's, we've got a shot. No, we don't. <laughs> I mean, we just saw how weak we are compared to the other riders in this group. That four of them are clearly stronger than the other three of us. So, no, I, the, the odds are still stacked very, very much against us. But we will try. And so far, we've had a minor success. Shear is recovering, but you can already see the fatigue starting to set in. We are not looking like the other four who do need water by the way. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Uh, Sheer, you, you've recovered a little bit more. Go ahead and save the rest of that turn and go get water. Alright, uh, Top Perez still slowly recovering gap is at four minutes looks like it's holding at four minutes nice long flat section here both now at full strength and for now uh, Sheer is going to just sit on and Taperez will sacrifice themselves she is definitely the stronger of the two, both on the natural attributes and on the race day condition. And for the rest of the breakaway, they can't blame us for that. There's two riders in the break from our team. We have every right to do this. Pace is picking up. And we're going uphill. And the gap's down to 250. And it's on an uphill section, so this is uh, not looking so good for our chances. If we're riding this hard, this far out, have we backed off some? No. Gaps back out to three minutes. Done with that section of the climb. Wow, these guys. Struggling at 78. Not to everybody's liking. The Peloton has significantly increased okay, we'll its speed. Set that. Don't need water just yet. All right, another uphill section here. Tupperez not actually taking turns. Now they can get mad at us, but the gap's holding at three minutes. Three minutes is nice. Four climbs, plus the one we're on now, the uncategorized we're on now, does not look so nice. Okay, 84k, you know what, we can hold out for the 60k mark, or at least the downhill section. Get water then. Ah, look how much shear is hurting. <laughs> that was a gentle uphill slope. Okay, go ahead and get water. Yeah, that was nice and easy. Let's go back here, Schmid. Go ahead and get water again. 
Right. Top Perez is taking a turn. See, we're contributing two and a half minute gap. Shear has recovered. Top Perez has recovered. Schmid still hasn't made it up with water, but everybody has recovered. And here we go. Four steep categories climbs and unfortunately Whoa, there's an attack from inside the breakaway group. We're gonna have to both work here because they're attacking to go for the KOM points and they leave us in the dust. I mean I'm I'm riding at an eighty five. That's maximizing our mountain speed, and I doubt they're gonna sit up. They're probably just gonna keep right on. The breakaway is not they do. The they pulled out 45 seconds speed. just like that. So we're two minutes ahead of the pack, but pack's gonna come back at us. So at this point, I think what I need to do is I need sheer. We're gonna continue to protect you. Top Perez is gonna just do what they can. And we're gonna end up drifting back towards the Peloton and what's left of our four here. We're gonna have to go and ride for the stage that way. This front group is too fast, too strong for us and I think the same thing is gonna happen here the moment they go hit the climb. Top Perez, go ahead and use your gel. We got Schmid using their gel. Moke crashes. That doesn't help. It looks like the pack has bitten the dust collectively. And just as we almost bring this group okay back. Carry on. Okay. Gently. Sheer. Going solo. Tapperez is done. Moke is now riding solo. Done. Uh, Schmid just got dropped out the back. Sykes just got dropped. See how fast this is happening? Top Perez is going straight out the back here. Klaus is just hanging on inside this front group. And Sheer riding solo 40 seconds ahead. Still two climbs to go. There we go. Little recovery on the descent. Somebody's come a cropper in the pack. Thank goodness Top everyone Perez, else escaped please unhurt. protect. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. Okay, we're gonna be back in the peloton here in just a second. Now we accelerate, try to hang on. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. There's more than a minute on the clock. The Klaus, I would like you to protect Sheer, but you're way too far back. The fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. And Sheer is quite tired at this point. One climb to go, and Sheer is toast, and Klaus was dropped. <laughs> I, I, I can't win here. This is, this is the, uh, the life of this team. Klaus still had some energy, but barely. And just too weak of a rider. Sheer, too weak of a rider, and was the strongest on the day. So we did not win this stage, <laughs> which was expected. It truly was. Uh, it doesn't surprise me one bit. Sheer got a head start by being four minutes ahead of the peloton. And then we just tried to preserve it. That's really all we were able to do here. <laughs> Let me work group A3. There are just 10 kilometers left. And he spurts away from the There's only two He's solo riders here. We're not that far away from the uh, Peloton, but we're certainly not competing. Still 8k to go. Two minutes and 40 seconds the behind. So even with a four minute eight. advantage, we're still... We lost seven now, minutes. Okay, 6k to go. It's uphill now, but it'll be downhill soon to the finish. Uh, 
a lot more splits. We're now a seven. Oh, run out of energy Alone right as we go over the top. It required a lot of Solo winner. He was above the she was slightly today. ahead of the, the uh, main peloton. The There's already 20 riders. 1.7k. 1.4k. Completely out of energy. Probably 40. 50. 50 first. <laughs> we tried our best. We got 50 first. 50 first was our best. Uh, here, here's the thing, though. Last season, PCM 19, doing this, we were literally the back of the grid every single time on that first season. If we had six riders at a race, we were in the last 10 riders to cross the line. All six of them. Maybe one rider finished a little higher up. And four or five riders were the final four or five riders to cross line. So th this is an improvement. And they have improved since the start of the season. And the only chance we're going to have of getting any of these upcoming objectives is going to be if we uh, improve if drastically. Somebody you know, levels up two, three, four times before the end of the season. Because we've got some challenging objectives coming up, and I just don't see us getting any of them. The winner was able to go 14 seconds clear of everybody else. I finished at 327 down. So we flipped a 4-minute lead to a 3-minute 27 second deficit. Such was our advantage in the break. But when it mattered they were able to outpace us by seven and a half minutes now, of course we retired from being in the break uh, but like i said that's really our only chance because you saw the moment they accelerated those climbs just destroyed us we're so so bad stage two presents a similar problem i'm not going to waste our time with it that is an impossible stage for us anything with climbing right now our, our highest climbing rating is sheer with a 63 we will not get past this climb every single rider will be dropped before the top of this category two on paper here's how we look in person i do even better than what we're gonna oh sheer got 17th <laughs> uh not bad sheer better better than i expected on on paper uh that's better than i was able to do that's funny uh that actually makes me happy that somehow on paper we're able to do more than what we're actually able to do in person uh, that is not normal for this game stage three presents the same problem Way too much climbing. This category two climb, none of my riders will get over the top of that. And so we concede defeat on Garande. Sheer again gets a decent finish as team leader, as the protected rider, right beside Madison Kelly, who is a significantly better rider. And that's one failed objective that brought us back down. Uh, we're below the 50% threshold now, but only just maybe 48. And that was one of the more aggressive objectives. Uh, two and a half stars. So I'm hoping that these handful of successes can hold up a, a bit, especially that three and a half star super success. That was awesome. Next up is that top 10 one. It's a little punchy. It might be doable. So we may, may be able to get one more objective, and that is our next opportunity. Uh, it's just a couple days away, so we'll be right into that uh, at the beginning of the next episode. That does it for this one, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.